between Bruce Lee and Mark Jacasey. So here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand early. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Jacasey circling towards the left side now. Big golf punch lands. Now he gets back to range. So both guys landing at will here. Good action early. Oh, setting up the left hook, but out of range. And that one was heavy. Just out of range with that kick attempt. 90 seconds to go now. Slips the punch nicely there. Lands with the kick there. No pad on that foot. No shit guard. He's taking all of that kick every time he throws it. And a miss with the right hook. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. They continue to exchange. Effective punch there by Lee. First round winding down here. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. We now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, DC, here we go with our next round. It wasn't just the accuracy, it was the aggressiveness, the volume. It was unbelievable to watch him be so active. The cardio, the push, the pace, and the pressure that he fought with. It's going to be very interesting to see if he can maintain this over 15 minutes. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? The right hand just misses. Dig and kick. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole <laughs> platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Huge block there. That's a big strike right there. Oh, Jacasey gets touched by that kick right to the body there. Nicely done by the opponent. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. 20 seconds left. Ten seconds remain in round two. And that's the end of round number two. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1-level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking.
Third round underway. Under three minutes remain in round three. Beautiful straight punch there. His boxing fundamentals are just so clean. Oh, he looks so sharp tonight. So we have passed the midway point in the fight. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Nice punch lands over the top. All right, lands a kick there, pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Jacasey's strike attempt there is blocked. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much force. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out but it does excite me for the next round. All right, here we go with our next round, and really shades of the Diaz brothers in that previous round. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy, just a lot of efficiency on the feet. Very, very efficient. Good round in the sense that he did not throw everything with absolute power, but he was touching the entire time. Then every now and again, he would set down on a strike that was really damaging his opponent. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Two minutes remain in the round. Punch over the top. Massive head kick. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Just out of range with that left hook. Fight's gonna be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. And he landed the right hand there. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Straight punch lands. Nice spinning attack to the body lands for him. He is throwing a fast, straight, hard jab. That's not a feeler jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you would. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. All right, so here we go with our next round. DC, you are known for having one of the higher fight IQs in the game, and I would put him on that list after what we saw in terms of the body work there in the previous round. He did a fantastic job of mixing up his target. 
not head hunting, going to the body, making that investment into forcing a mistake later that will allow him to chase his finish. Well, lands a good series of kicks there, DC. It really didn't take him long to get a good beat on his opponent. He figured the timing, and now he's been driving kick after kick into his opponent. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Nice straight punch. his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize him. He's coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Ooh, he landed a huge hook there. Swing and a miss with that punch by Jacasey. Ooh, head kick lands, and he's hurt. and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Head kick. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. Oh, oh see. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness even be on his feet right now. Oh, big left. What a 15 minutes put forth. All right, so a close competitive fight throughout. It goes the distance. Maybe a slight striking edge on one side, and perhaps that'll be enough for him to get the knock. I mean, he's got to hope, right? He's got to hope that what he did, those exchanges where he came out in front, was enough to earn him the victory. This was a very, very close fight, and I'm interested to see who gets the decision.